In this video, you will learn about hyperparameters in XGBoost classifier. We will work on a heart disease problem where the goal is to classify whether a person has a heart disease or not based on some independent variables. Let's import pandas as pd. Import numpy as np. I'll make one variable df. From pandas, I will call the method read underscore csv to read my csv file and I'll pass my csv file name. My csv file name is heart disease dot csv. Let's execute our code. Let's look at the shape of our data frame. I'll write df dot shape. In the output, you can see we have 303 rows and 14 columns. Let's look at the top five rows of our data frame. We will use the method head, df.head. In the output, you can see these are the top five rows of our data frame. And we have columns such as age, gender, CP, cholesterol, then old pig slope, etc. We can also look at the bottom five rows of our data frame. We will use the method tail, df.tail. In the output, you can see these are the bottom five rows of our data frame. We can also look at the information. So we will use the method info df.info. And here you will get the basic information about our data frame. So you will get information such as the column names here. You, have, you can see all the column names are printed here. Then we have the non-null count. Then we have the data type for each and every column. For age, the data type is integer 64, for gender, integer 64, and so on. So these are the data types. Now, in this data frame, our target variable is target. Here you will see target. So we have to classify whether a person has a heart disease or not based on all these independent variables. I'll show you the count of the variable target. I'll call df and then I'll write target. Then we will use the method value underscore counts. In the output, you can see we have two levels here. We have one and zero. For one, we have 165 rows and for zero, we have 130 rows, 138 rows. So one means a person has a heart disease and zero indicates that the person does not have heart disease and we have to classify this. Now from XGBoost, we will import the XGBoost classifier. I'll write from XGBoost import XGB classifier. So we are going to import the classifier first. Then we will also import the accuracy score from sklearn.matrix import accuracy score. So this will be used to calculate the accuracy. Now we are going to split the data set into X and Y. So we have the data set saved in this variable df. You can see here the data set is saved in this variable in this data frame df. We are going to split this into X and Y. First I will write X. I will call a data frame df. Then from pandas I will use the method iloc. I will call a list. The first parameter is column. This column means I want all the rows comma minus one. I have to put column here colon minus one. So this indicates that I want all the column except the last column because I'm not going to take the target column in the data frame X. Then I will write Y and I will call a data frame DF. Then I will call ILOC. This time I want all the rows. So I will type call in and now I want only the target variables. So I'll just write here minus one because I want the last column only. Apart from that, I don't want any other column. Let's execute our code. Let's look at the shape of X and Y. I will write X dot shape. So here you will see we have 303 rows and 13 columns. Let's also check for Y, Y dot shape. In Y, we don't have any column here because uh, this is this contains target variables and for the target variable, we have all the rows 303. Now I will make one object model and then I will call the classifier XGB classifier. 
and inside this I will pass some parameter my first parameter is going to be booster so I am defining the booster type here and it is going to be gradient boost and tree so I will write gb tree gb tree then I will pass one more parameter objective and our objective is binary because we have two levels here you will see here the target variables has two levels so it is binary binary means two so I will write binary is to logistic then I will pass one more parameter random state and you can put any number here let's say I will write 111 so you can put any number here in this random state let's execute our code so we have defined this object model and this model has classifier xgb classifier now we will also import the cross file score because we will also perform the cross validation so from sklearn dot model selection import cross file score let's execute now let's get the score of cross validation so i will write scores is equal to cross file score now I will call our model then I will pass our data frame x and y and I will pass one more parameter cross validation and I want to do the 10 times k is equal to 10 times cross validation so I will write cv is equal to 10 and here what I am doing is I am following this method cross file score and I am passing the parameter model so this x and y this uh, we have data in x and y this will get fitted on this model and then we will get the cross validation score of this model that we will fit here let's execute our code so here you will get some warning you just have to ignore the warning now let's print score so we have saved this result in the variable scores I'll print this print scores So we got these scores. We have 87%, 83%, 83%, 80%, 86%, 73%, 73%, 76%, 73%, and 0.8. From sklearn dot model selection, I will import stratified key fold. Now I'll make one object key fold. I'll call this stratified k fold class. In this, I will pass some parameter. The first parameter is n splits. So, how many splits we want to make? Let's say five. You can put any number here. Shuffle is equal to true. So, this will take all the random samples. Shuffle is equal to true is a parameter that takes all the random samples. Then, one more parameter random underscore state. So you can put any number here, 111. Let's execute our code. We got some error here. Random, so here the spelling mistake. I have to put D here, R-A-N-D. Now we will get the scores of the grid search cross validation that we have done here. So I will write, I'll make one variable scores. We have to apply this. Now, you know, instead of this, instead of this cv we will pass our grid search cv that we have just created so what i can do i'll just copy this code from here i'll copy i'll paste it here and now instead of cv we have instead of 10 here we have to pass k fold here this k fold that we have defined above we are going to pass this k fold in our cv parameter cross validation let's execute our code now let's print our variable scores print scores here in the output we will see we have scores such as 80% 77% 78 81 80% and we can also get the mean score i will write print scores dot mean 
the mean score is 79% and here we have done the k fold cross validation so our mean score is 79% for this grid search cv we can also create a other we can also create another model so for that i'll make one object model and i will call xgb classifier inside this i will pass parameter booster is equal to so booster is going to be gradient booster in tree so i will write gb tree then the next parameter is objective the objective is binary because we have binary here the target variable is binary so i will write binary dot logistic the next parameter is random state and we can put any number here let's say 111 let's execute our code i'll make one variable evaluation set and in this i'll make a list and inside this for evaluation we will use the x test and y test so i will write x test and y test the evaluation matrix is going to be error so i will write evaluation matrix is equal to error now let's fit our model so i will write model this model i will call this model from this i will call the method fit and i will write x train y train the evaluation matrix is eval underscore matrix is equal to we will pass this eval matrix here i'll just copy it from here and paste it here then eval set it is going to be this i i will type here sct i'll copy it from here and paste it here let's execute our code so we got name error here x test is not defined because we have not split the data set into x train y train so here i will put one more cell and now i will call from sk learn dot model selection import train test split so we will do the splitting of x and y and i will call x train y train i'll put x test first x train x test y train y test and i will call the method train test split inside this we will pass our data frame x and y and we will pass one more parameter random underscore state and we can put any number here let's put 100 now if i run this code again i won't get error and here you will see we got the accuracy for each and every validation set we can also make the prediction and save in a variable so i will make one variable y y underscore pred and then i will call our model from this i will call the method predict and we want to predict for x test let's execute our code now we will find the accuracy of between the actual and the predicted class so i'll make one variable accuracy here now i will call accuracy score that we have imported above and here we are comparing y test with the y pred let's execute our code let's print accuracy so our accuracy is 78% and if you want to get it you can just multiply it with 100 mm. or let it be so our accuracy is 78% this tutorial was about the hyper parameters that are available in xc boost i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching